Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little investigation on solving inequalities. So, so far we've been solving one step inequalities. And there's one more thing that we need to add to our, our skill set, okay, or our rules. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through this investigation and you're going to um, do whatever the instructions say and then fill in the new inequality. So look at the first, the first one's done for you. Look at the second one. I have negative five is less than negative two. So it says subtract three from both sides. Okay, so if I do negative five minus three, I get negative eight. If I do negative two minus three, I get negative five. Now, which way does the inequality go? Well, negative five is bigger than negative eight, or negative eight is less than negative five. So it goes this way, which is the same way it was in the original problem. Okay, try another one. Look down here at the fourth one. It says 12 is greater than or equal to negative six. It says multiply both sides by negative two. Okay. Well, 12 times negative two is negative 24. And negative six times negative two is positive 12. Okay, so now negative 24 is less than 12. So I have to put a less than or equal to because this was a greater than or equal to before. So notice the inequality changed, okay? I still have to have a true statement over here. So sometimes I'm gonna have to switch the inequality. So you have to fill in the inequality in the way that it goes, okay? So go ahead and finish up the table. Okay. So this is what you should have at this point. Okay, so double check your answers real fast. <clears throat> at the very bottom it says, in the table above, highlight or circle all the situations where the inequality symbol changed directions after you did something to both sides. So first one stayed the same. Second one stayed the same. Third one stayed the same. Fourth one. Uh-oh, this one changed. So circle that one. Okay. Um, the fifth one, this one changed too. So circle that one. Um, this one stayed the same. Stayed the same. Changed. changed stay the same stay the same okay so look at the four that you circled what were we doing when we had to reverse the symbol well we were multiplying or dividing for one but what kind of number were we multiplying or dividing by what do all of these numbers have in common they're all negative. Okay, notice when we multiplied by positive numbers, so at the very bottom one, we didn't change the sign. When we divided by a positive number, like this middle one, we didn't change the sign. When we multiplied up here by a positive number, we didn't change the sign. Okay, so the other rule for inequalities is when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to reverse the sign. So that's what we need to write at the bottom. And what we mean by reverse the sign is if it was less than, then now you have to make it greater than. So, when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to reverse the sign. Let me give you an example. What if I had negative 4x is greater than 16? 
negative 4x is greater than 16. Well, in order to undo this multiplication, I would have to do division. I have to divide both sides by whatever's in front of the x. Here, there's a negative in front of that x. So I have to divide by negative 4. Okay, so on the left-hand side, the negative 4s cancel out to 1, and I'm left with x. Oops, sorry. And over here, my 16 divided by negative 4 gives me negative 4. But since I divided by a negative number, this is now going to be a less than symbol, not a greater than symbol. Okay, same thing goes for if I had x divided by negative 4 is greater than 16. In order to undo this division, I have to multiply by negative 4. Remember, you only multiply the top. So this gives me negative 4x divided by my negative 4 is greater than 16 times negative 4 which is what, negative 64? Okay, so since I multiplied by a negative number, I have to reverse my sign. So this would be x is less than negative 64. So that's the only other rule you have to remember. If you are not multiplying or dividing by a negative number, you don't have to worry about this. You only have to remember this on the problems where you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Okay, so you have some practice problems to do on this, so keep this on your desk. You can flip over to your other notes on solving equations as well. Keep both of those on your desk, and I want you to do the practice problems, and then you're going to have a post-assessment at the end.